I want to try to look at our tracking today uh, from a sense of we'll start in the offensive zone and work our that way back through the neutral zone and then back towards and, and into our D zone entries. Okay. So with that, we just watched some clips where F3 is very important uh, in you know, being the driver on five man retrievals. We'll look at some clips now where um, we're going to use an F3 to be able to back pressure the puck, reload above it, and hold possession in the offensive zone. Obviously, again, that's the best case scenario. If we can uh, get the puck back in the zone or uh, even with some real quick transition just outside of the blue line. So we look here. We'll just look for F3 positioning in the workload. Okay, we talk a lot about F3, but you, you're, you know, your uh, your other two forwards are also uh, very important. I'll refer to four and five a little bit as we go through this discussion. That re that's going to refer to our second and third forward. So uh, on this clip, see F3 in a good spot. Okay, working above. With there's two forwards down low, okay, Colorado in for possession. Now F3 continues with good feet, good stick, okay, and is able to work for possession, best result possible. We're able to turn the puck over in the zone, create the big scoring chance. Okay. Again, F3, number 47, in good position, able to come across okay, with a good stick. You'll notice in this clip, the D did not stay in. Okay, strong side D, uh, didn't feel comfortable staying in, came out to the dot line, so he's in a good safe position, as is his partner in the middle of the ring. But the good work uh, and the hard work, both skating and good stick by F3, turns the puck over and gives an opportunity for an offensive play. Now, one of the other things that we'll look for, obviously, in transition and talk about as we go through the, uh, uh, the presentation today, uh, is, you know, the fact that when you're able to turn the puck over, you have an opportunity now to attack against a team that hasn't been able to get into their defensive structure. And offensively, this puts you in the driver's seat. You can normally, that allows for some creativity and usually allows for a little bit better opportunity than if your opposition has been able to get into their five-man defensive set. We've seen two good F3s. Now in this clip, we've got an F3 that's high and above the play. Now you just see the good work of 73. Again, it's two or three quick strides. It's a good stick on puck, but it's his good effort, good stick, okay, that allows, again, a quick turnover and a play back to the net, and resulting in a, in a goal. 